What's up Madden community? MT Squared back with another Madden 23 Ultimate Team video and today we have Randy Moss in the game and I'm going to do a gameplay with Randy Moss. We just got Justin Jefferson a couple days ago with Patrick Peterson, the new Team of the Week promo. We have a 92 overall team with 93 offense, 92 defense. We're going to take a look at the squad real quick here. So I do have Elway as my quarterback. If you do not have Elway, then Dante Kel Culpepper would be your next best option. He does get set feet lead and fearless abilities. You're going to have to pay a lot more ability points though. And he does not have that Slinger 1 release, the Rodgers release that Elway has. So I have set feet lead, Gunslinger, and and fearless on LA all for just five ability points we have Randy Moss here new to the squad I did not like the harvest um, artwork so I chose the all Madden artwork he's got 95 speed on this theme team with 97 jumping 93 catch 94 catch in traffic 94 spec catch 90 short route running 93 medium and 93 DP six foot four he gets deep out uh, elite for zero ability points. He also gets uh, red thrown threat for one ability point or slotomatic for two. You got to choose between those three for the cheaper ability points. And then he does also get route technician for three ability points. Personally, I don't think that route technician is worth it this year. I did try both Mike Wallace and um, Justin Jefferson with route technician last night, just playing around. Um, and I didn't really see anything too crazy that would be worth it for all those ability points. So I've got a uh, deep out uh, elite on Randy Moss. We've got um, matchup nightmare on Mike Wallace, who also has 95 speed. He's my wide receiver three. He's got 95 speed, 94 jumping, 91 catch, 90 catch in traffic, 92 spec catch, 91 short, 92 medium, 93 deep. Um, we've got also Justin Jefferson, who is uh, definitely a really awesome card. Had fun with him last night. He doesn't get... Um, he does get deep out elite for one ability point, but where I've got deep out elite on Randy Moss, he's going to be more of my corner route uh, type of wide receiver along with my tight end Casper as the uh, scheme that I run. So I've got mid in elite on him for one ability point. Again, you can also put route tech on him for three or deep in elite for one ability point. Um, and Justin Jefferson, uh, let's take a look at his stats also real quick. Uh, so on this theme team, he's also got a 95 speed with 96 jump, 91 catch, 90 catch in traffic, 95 spec catch, 91 short, 92 medium, and 93 deep. He's six foot one. Uh, so not the height that Randy Moss has, but definitely still a really good receiver. Um, and then for the rest of my abilities, I have edge protector on both my tackles. I've got post up on Jeff Saturday, my center. I've got threat detector on Randall McDaniel. So Testing that out to see how I like that. I noticed in the MCS uh, championship uh, last night that um, a couple people were using that. Um, so I wanted to uh, try that out myself. And then uh, on defense, we've got um, Deion Sanders, Patrick Peterson as our quarterbacks one and two. I've also got Mike Haynes as my slot corner who won't actually play slot corner, but that was a way to get him into the lineup because Cameron Dantzler is not going to uh, cut it right now. Um, he is six foot two, so he's got some nice... A nice height, but I wanted to get a better corner in there, so I put Mike Haynes. And then for our edge rushers, we got Zadari Smith and Aaron Donald. Uh, Aaron Donald, obviously one of my flex options. Um, Howie Long, the caveman, is going to play on the interior um, with actually um, Richard Seymour. Richard Seymour gets the defensive rally ability for zero ability points. So that was a big reason why I wanted to get him on the squad. Um, that gives everybody an extra pass rush point on third and fourth down. Um, so I wanted to get him into the squad. Uh, so yeah, you can see my specialist here. I've also got Isaiah Polomeo uh, as a sub linebacker. So I user him um, with uh, Cordero Patterson also in the middle. Um, I've got Harrison Smith um, as my deep safety, Leroy Butler um, as my uh, safety in the flats. I do use Patrick Peterson in the slot with uh, Dion and then Mike Haynes, of course, on the outside. So that's the squad. Let's get into the game. We've got my opponent's top three, Air McNair, Woodson, and Bird. And my top three, Elway, Sanders, and Haynes. Let's go. All right, coming out here on offense first, looks like my opponent is in man coverage. Uh, so we're going to see if we can uh, hit um, Moss on that deep corner, if not Jefferson on the zig to start. Oh, he is in zone, so we'll have um, Casper open on the corner route. All right, here, um, if he's got zone coverage again, we're probably going to try to hit um, a Moss on the deep corner route with, uh, I have Hawkinson out there. That's not, so he's not supposed to be there. Um, and we will have Moss. Come on down with that. Yes. 
All right, so I got Mike Wallace back out there, which is where he should have been. I had to make some substitutions before, and we'll have Cook open on the out route. Let's go. Nice first down. All right, we're going to come back to that uh, corner route, see if that might be open. If not, I'll hit Jefferson underneath. Um, actually, I'm going to put Wallace on a slant. I'll Moss wide open from the start. Let's go. All right, a little bit of hurry up. We're going to go back to levels, see if we can get Cook open again on the out route. And he's not going to be open, but Moss will be. Get that touchdown, Moss. Let's go. All right. All right, we're going to go back to hurry up. And if he is in man, we're going to hit Jefferson on that zigzag route. And he is. We're going to have Jefferson with the touchdown. Let's go. Force fumble, let's go get that touchdown. <laughs> so after forcing that fumble on the kick return, we are um, at the six yard line. Uh, so let's see what we can do here. And we'll have Jefferson for another touchdown. So Moss with the yards and uh, Jefferson with the touchdowns. And we are coming out in zone to start here on defense. Oh, I saw that coming. Force another fumble. We're gonna come out in man coverage this time. I'm gonna shade to the outside. Oh, he's running it anyway. All right, gonna go back to uh, zone coverage. I did put my curl flats in 20, uh, my uh, hook, hook uh, curls in 15 yards. And he's running the ball again with Aaron Jones. I probably should stop run uh, pass committing. All right, we're gonna send a little pressure here. Um, gonna blitz off the edge and one of my uh, sub linebackers uh, and see if we can make a stop, come on. All right, we are, uh, we're going to go back to cover one man, shade to the outside. I'll cover the middle, and I got stuck up. So couldn't make my adjustments fast enough, and then I got stuck and ran into my own guy. Uh, Polomeo ran into Cordell Patterson, but it is what it is there, and we're going nowhere in first down. All right, coming out in uh, empty set here. We're going to see if we can hit um, maybe Casper on that... Uh, Streak. If not, we'll take Moss or Jefferson underneath, and we will take Moss. Break a tackle! Come on. Uh, we are going in. Hurry up! Uh, looks like he is um, not sending him. He just blitz. He just uh, audibled, and we are gonna go to. Oh yeah! So oh, that was dangerous. Nice catch, Jefferson. <laughs> I definitely expected that pass to be a little bit further outside. Um, definitely was a lot more dangerous than it should have been, but uh, we came down with the first down. Uh, here we're going to look at Dalvin Cook. Spin move. Hold on to that ball. Second and six here after the two-minute warning. Um, we're going to see if we can uh, potentially hit. Uh, if he's in the zone, probably going to go to Jefferson on that hook. Um, if he's a man, we'll hit uh, probably either Moss um, or uh, Dalvin Cook. And we're going to go to Cook. Oh, no! What a terrible pass. Terrible idea. Big mistake by me. Um, that one is definitely on me. So um, he is running it here. Come on, somebody make a tackle. All right, we're coming out in man coverage here. After the incompletion on first down, second in goal. All right, 14-14, 113 left in the second half and the first half. We definitely need a score, um, preferably a touchdown uh, before the half. Our opponent does get the ball at the half, so we're gonna see if we can hit Casper on the corner route, nice. All right, so here we are gonna look at uh, potentially hitting Moss on the corner route. Um, I wanna see, uh, looks like he played man coverage last time. He's probably playing man coverage again. We're just gonna take the underneath to Wallace. Break that tackle, Wallace.
Probably gonna hit Casper again on the corner, maybe Moss on the underneath. And Casper will be open. Get out of bounds. Here we are gonna be looking at uh, hitting Casper on a crosser. If not, we've got Jefferson underneath on a slant and Wallace on a drag. Uh, I'm gonna see if we can get Moss to take some attention away over there. And we're just gonna have to take Wallace. Wallace can break some tackles. Are uh, going back, uh, seeing if we can hit uh, Casper again on that corner route. Seems to be working. Uh, if he is in zone coverage, uh, Wallace should be taking that outside uh, zone away. And Casper is wide open with the touchdown. All right, we are just playing a uh, two deep man here, uh, seeing if we can get some pressure. And I am shading over the top. Come on, get there. Same thing, shading over the top and to the outside. Somebody make a breakup, nice. Deion Sanders with the key breakup. He has deep out, deep out man ability uh, KO um, on him for only one ability point. Can we get some pressure with Donald? Let's go. So our opponent is coming out in a punt formation on fourth and one. Um, all right, he is, yep, he is faking it. Break that up. Nice. I thought he might have been faking it, um, but he uh, left me in field goal range, so I will take that for sure. So up 10 after the half, um, we're gonna come out in man coverage, shading to the outside. And he is not going there. He got nice sack, Donald. All right, here we are gonna come out in zone coverage. Um, I got my curl flats in uh, 20, um, hooks in 15s. Nice pressure, let's go, Zadaria Smith. Gonna play uh, two deep man coverage here. Shading to the outside and over the top. Somebody make a break up, yes, Sanders. Fourth and 20 and my opponent is coming out in a pun formation, last time he faked it, but he is not gonna do that on fourth and 20 here. All right, we are 24 to 14 here. Uh, so we're not gonna do anything too crazy, um, but we are gonna see if we can show off that uh, Randy Moss a little bit more. Um, gonna put Casper in a drag route as an outlet, but we're gonna try to see if we can hit Moss on this deep corner, which he is gonna be wide open. Let's go. All right, here we have um, verticals. I got Moss on a deep route. Um, if not, we've got um, Jefferson on a slant and Casper on this uh, little drag route. And Moss is, do we have Moss? Do we have Moss? We do. Uh, it's Jefferson on the slant. Let's go. Nice touchdown. Third touchdown for Jefferson. And our opponent has quit. What a game. Justin Jefferson with three touchdowns. I think Randy Moss had over 100 yards. He had some nice deep catches uh, for sure. Didn't get any touchdowns. He did make it to like the one yard line that one time uh, before the uh, first touchdown, I think it was. And then JJ uh, snagged the touchdown on the zig route. Uh, Elway is a monster. I made one bad decision on that interception. I uh, definitely shouldn't have thrown that, but uh, we came out with the W. Uh, I think 30 to 14 was the final score in that game. Uh, defense played exceptionally well. Those those KO abilities are so huge. So we have a deep um, KO ability for man on Deion Sanders. I've got the uh, flat zone KO ability on Leroy Butler. I've got the deep out zone KO ability on Mike Haynes. He's my uh, uh, listed as my slot receiver. I don't play him in the slot though. That was just a way to get him on the squad. Um, and um, we've also got, um, I think we've got one more. Actually, no, that might be it because Pat Pete has pick ours for zero ability points. And then uh, most of my other ability points are on our defensive line. I've got edge threat and double or nothing on Aaron Donald. Got some nice pressure from him. Zadarius Smith had a couple nice pressures as well. No sacks for Smith, but he did um, force some throwaways. He has edge threat on him. 
And uh, yeah, that was an awesome gameplay. Uh, definitely some nice offense in that game. Um, and having this trio of receivers, Randy Moss, Justin Jefferson, and Mike Wallace is just insane. We couldn't get the ground game going that much, um, but honestly, this was more of a Randy Moss, uh, you know, and Justin Jefferson gameplay anyway. Uh, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. And if you did, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to my channel so you can see my daily videos. And thank you for watching this video.